What we're trying to go here is when you guys are learning circles, okay, and you're doing them, probably the most important work is the first few days that you start spending on them correcting your shape. Charlie, sit up. Um, because if not, then what happens is you end up going through the motions, Flame, and sit eventually up. you end up having to correct them later. Here's, here's a good way of thinking about it. If you first started walking as a baby, and you turned your foot inwards, okay, and you just walk like that for a year, okay, I want you to think about how are you going to run? Like that. Like that. You're going to run like that, right? Okay? Yeah? How are you going to run and jump? How are you going to play basketball? How are you going to play football? How are you going to play gymnastics? How are you going to do all those things? You'll run it like that. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to be doing that for years and years and years. Okay? And it's going to feel normal to you. How many of you are going to say to that kid who comes in, you're walking normal? You're not. You're going to tell them, hey, listen, turn your right foot forward and you'll walk. And here's what they're going to do. This is the same thing they'll feel. They're going to do it and they're going to go, that feels weird. And you're going to say, weird? That's normal. Like, that's how you're supposed to walk. Yeah? Aren't you? You know it, right? So when you're learning circles, we're going to teach you how it should feel. And you're probably going to say, that feels weird. And I'm going to have the same exact thing as we just talked about. I'm going to say, yeah, but that's, that's normal. Okay? So we're going to be learning what it means to swing a perfect circle. Okay? And that's basically what we're going through right now. Your shoulders need to cover your ears, not your arms, and your shoulders. You are not moving your shoulders up to your So when we go through this and you start looking at some of the shapes that are created, um, you're going to look and you're going to see some really big concepts. Number one. Super simple for you guys. You guys are probably like, yeah, I've already learned that. Yeah, four quarters. Okay, right? Okay, but why is it important? Can somebody tell me? Shapes, but what would the shape be? Arch. Tight arch. Tight arch. What else could it be? Hollow. 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 Who said pipe? Could be pipe. Nobody has said straight. 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 <laughs> Yeah, nobody has said straight. So here's the deal. There's different philosophies. Straight, hollow, pipe, arch, and there's certain ones that we can probably eliminate. Which one would we probably say, you know what, that's probably not a good one to use. Pipe. Pipe. Okay, we could eliminate that. But here's the thing. Chandler put up pipe. You can use pipe. When would be one moment that you could use pipe? While you're circling. While you're circling. What could be one moment? If you want to speed up love. If you need to speed up, think about it. When you shorten your body, if you're going around in circles, what does it do? How many of you have that nasty habit of circling and bending your knees? Okay, that bend of the knee, yeah, that bend of the knee, what does it do for you? What does it do? It's not just that you're silly and you don't understand. But, okay, it's doing something for you to keep you going around. What is it? Making you smaller. It's speeding you up. It's speeding you up. Yeah? When you want to do a spindle, okay, a full spindle, you'll see a lot of guys will use a pike. They will use it. Because what they're going to do is they're going to slow down their circle, and then they're going to pike to start speeding up to do the spindle. You'll watch some. You'll see it. The guy who invented the spindle himself, Maggie, he actually used it. Pike open. Pike open. There's the spindle. He sped up for the first half, then he lengthened up. Then he sped up and he linked it up. He used the pipe. Is it necessarily what we want to do for basics? No, for sure not. Okay, but you need to know how to do it because one day you can use it. Okay. So when people are telling you basics, and I told you in the beginning, it's not about basics. It's about creating good habits. We could probably say it's fair to say not to speed up by doing that channel. Yeah, by pipe. Okay, so that's not necessarily a good habit, but it's a habit you could use one day, just not now. So what is technically the idea we want to do? We want to do what? We want to swing straight? This is a tough question, guys. This is really difficult. You want to be arched but when loose? Do you want to be arched the whole time? In the front. The whole time? How are you going to then, if you're arched the whole time, how are you going to continue speeding up? Because each time you do a circle, 
You need to speed up to continue going around. How do you maintain that speed? You could. Is so you know you guys recognize that Hollow and Piking shortens your body, right? Do you recognize that arch shortens your body? You should. An arch is shorter than straight. So if you're swinging and you're straight, you're straight, and at the very, very front you kind of arch, you're going to shorten your body. Okay? Yeah, and using those four corners, that's key. That's key. All right, and it's key for a couple of reasons, but here's the biggest one. Okay, and this, hopefully, I'm hoping that this person, whoever I choose as a volunteer, doesn't create a bad habit or a bad way of doing this. We're going to see. Um, who wants to kind of volunteer? Okay, so we're going to watch, okay? Um, it is William, right? William, can you get into a push-up shape right here and face the boys? Okay? And if we're imagining he's on the mushroom here, he's got himself in a circle. Okay, and he's facing straight down. Yeah, he's facing straight down. That's now, a bad kind of a, 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 What I would technically call a loose arch, I would like for him to be a little bit tighter. This is nice. And your head forward. Now turn your hips. Just turn your hips. Yeah, okay. Now, here's the thing. He turned his hips, right? But where is his chest now facing? He's not facing <laughs> down the mushroom. He's facing which way? Off center, isn't it? That's where this becomes. Thank you, William. That's where this becomes really, really, really important. Okay, I'm gonna bring a mushroom over. Number one nation in the world on pommel horse, Great Britain, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you. This whole concept. William just did this. Turn your hips. Where's my chest? It's not facing down the yellow line, it's facing off. It's kind of facing that way. You turn your hips, you never move your chest. That's it. That's the big thing. Because when you do that, and you start to turn, turn your hips without moving your chest, you're gonna feel that you're actually pushing on your hands. You're kind, of, you're kind of creating, you know when you sit down and you're in the teacups and you sit and you take that wheel and you turn it? The wheel doesn't turn, what turns? Teacup. You, yeah, the teacup. Your body's the same sort of idea. When you twist, when you twist and turn the mushroom with the handles to turn your hips, that's what you're doing. You're moving your body through the circle. You come around, you grab it, you twist, you don't do this. You keep your chest in the exact same spot and you twist. It's kind of like, circling is kind of like your body is on a teacup and your hands are turning and your body goes. So when you're circling and you created, you're not alone, I guarantee you if I lined up the whole crew and we were all in push-up shape and I said turn your hips, you guys would have all done this. You probably all would have done this turned your hips and faced a different direction. And here's what happens. Because you face a different direction and you start circling, you recognize in your brain, whoa, that's not half, over there's half. And so you pipe to speed up to get to that moment. Or you're facing here, you go ahead and you circle, uh oh, uh oh, I'm trying to turn my hips and I'm facing this direction. Whoa, I need to speed up. And you pike to try and get to back to back to now here. That's why this is so important. When you're doing circles, you need to face one direction. Unless you're going to start spindling or we call them, call them Russians here. Mm -hmm. Russians, yes, okay. So unless you do that. Okay, so that's, that's really important. And we're going to play around. You're going to feel this feeling. Because when you turn your hips, hey, William, did it feel weird when you turned your hips and kept your, yeah. You'll feel it. It's kind of like your muscles are active and you're on the teacups and you're pulling it. You'll feel it. We're going to go through it in a bit. Okay. So that's you. Those four quarters. What's another way that you could probably break it down? You could break it down into what? And you guys broke it down into eights? Never. Breaking it down into eights. 
This is my gymnast guy. Look at him. Huh? Look at step. We're starting and ending point of the circle. You guys noticing something? He's arched. What's another thing you notice? He's open. His chest. His chest. His chest is slightly turned. It's ahead of his body, isn't it? What's another big thing? He's not over the center, not over the center line. He's actually... He's actually here. Like if I'm circling in this direction, he's actually finished slightly here. Okay? So the starting and ending position on a circle is going to be depending on which way you circle. <laughs> Slightly off. Either there or there. It's where your hips finish the circle, isn't it? Where your feet finish it. But your chest, your chest stays in line with the yellow. So I'm going to walk through it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I finished the circle. My chest though is in line with yellow. My feet have completed the circle. My second hand has gone down and my feet are in line just off of yellow. Now here it goes. <coughs> my hand goes down and I'm slightly before the yellow, but my chest is still in line with the yellow. Okay. Now I'm turning. My chest is still facing down yellow. My left hand goes down in line with the white, and I'm slightly off. I'm not like this. I'm slightly off. That's it. That's why Great Britain has moved to number one in the world. Yay! It's not some sort of like, oh my gosh, the heavens open up and I understand now, like there was a magical thing. No, it's a really silly, silly small thing. That's it. That's the whole deal. <laughs> so that is the starting and ending. So there it is. Look, look. You see that? That's a massive concept, guys. Now, what he's talking about here is your hands need to be a little bit quicker. Okay? One of the things that you'll pay attention to in circling, and we're going to, believe me, we're going to get back into this here in a second, but when you start circling, the major concept is your hands have to move ahead of your body. So if I'm starting to lift my left or my right hand up and my body's traveling over and I wait for it, I wait for it, then what happens? I put it down and I'm kind of facing off. What am I, I have to do to speed up? I have to pike. So people are piking, not because they don't understand what straight is, they're piking because their hands are too slow. That's it. Their hands are too slow. They're waiting to put their hand down. Once they put it down, it's not a decision. It's not like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pike now. They do it instinctually. You do it without you at even recognizing it. Because you just, oh man, I gotta go, I gotta speed up. You either, or you, and you speed up. You do it without even deciding. You just do it instinctually. You guys are a lot more smart than you actually think. Yeah, because you do it, if you're staying on and circling, the problem is, is we don't want you to be smart that way. <laughs> we want you to be smart where your hands are a little bit quicker. Not by like, yeah. So this is the opposite direction, obviously, okay? And what he's obviously trying to do is a counter turn. And I know for sure you guys have heard of counter turn. Mm -hmm. And one mistake that he's making right now is that he's feeling his shoulders like to twist. Only his hips should twist. And that's so Belinky, his idea is he wants hips to be arched and hips or body to be arched and hips to be down, which is okay. And this is that child circling. 